Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one Bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove it. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, get me an opportunity. She gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. So the top 10 of the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. Our tale of the date for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Norma the Immortal Dumont. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Raquel Rocky Paddington. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rules set, not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Effective with the jab. Oh, she's got a good leg kick. There it is. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Bennington going for the body. Missed with that kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo. I'm booing. I'm booing. I'm not even going to fight. I got to catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man. It's a video game. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Work. Just unable to quite find that range. 
Nice shot there by the champ. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Raquel Pennington. Just over 20 total strikes and counting that have landed for Raquel Pennington. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing... Oh, oh she's in a world of trouble now. Time. That keeps her in the fight, folks. She got knocked down near the end of the round. You got to think if there were 10 more seconds, she might have been concussed, and that would have been the end of the fight. So saved by the bell there, she now has 60 seconds with which to recover. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get to the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful knockdown. Ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right. Round two. Oh! In a ton of trouble right now. Went for the inside leg kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. This works. Oh, nice hook there by Dumont. Pennington going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot. Man, how's she going to try to find the next shot that'll fix the fight? Under three minutes now to go in the round. Look at that leg. That one out as she blocks the kick. Let's go. Look for that takedown. Pennington going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Back and forth we go. She has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a oh! This could be it. Back to the feet. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice play this. Herb Dean steps in. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable.
All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Norma the Immortal. All right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular. A great fighter, a great champion, a woman that understands what it takes to be the best in the world. Congratulations, champ.